So as you can see, it worked just to, I didn't have to do anything else. I literally just had to click on the marketplace. Hey, please enable this app. Put this app into my Kubernetes cluster right when you spin it up so I can save myself like 10 minutes of installing everything, finding the resources regarding Prometheus and Grafana and so on, and just have it right there. Hello there and thank you so much for joining me for another video here on my YouTube channel. My name is Anais and usually I do weekly videos on Kubernetes, specifically on a challenge called 100 Days of Kubernetes. Now I want to start a new series called Project Spotlight. What is the difference between my 100 Days of Kubernetes series and my Project Spotlight series? Well, 100 Days of Kubernetes is a challenge that focuses on getting you on ramped on using Kubernetes as fast as possible and as effectively with, as possible with open source free resources that you can use right away. Project Spotlight will focus on different projects around the space that are not necessarily part of the CNCF landscape, that are not necessarily open source projects, but that I think deserve a shout out because they do some cool stuff. So today we're going to start with a project that I just joined as an employee called Sivo Cloud. And I'm going to tell you why I'm so excited about it and why I joined this project. What is Sivo Cloud? Sivo Cloud provides managed Kubernetes clusters and other computing resources. So it's basically a cloud computing provider that's based on Kubernetes, specifically on a distribution called K3S. And we take a look in a second at that. So we're saying we're the fastest Kubernetes provider because our clusters spin up really, really quickly in under two minutes. You can see here the previous cluster launch time, which I think is pretty cool. And how that's done, it's done through K3S, using K3S as our Kubernetes distribution. Now, what is K3S? If we're looking at the CNCF landscape, we can find K3S right here on the certified Kubernetes distributions. It's basically a lightweight Kubernetes distribution. I've done previous videos on K3S. So if you're curious to learn more about what K3S is and maybe why Sivo decided to use K3S and build a cloud computing solution around it, then I can make another video on that as well. I also linked other resources below. So check those out if you're curious. A really nice aspect of Sivo is that we have an applications marketplace. So let's take a look at that. And before we take a look at how you spin up your first Kubernetes cluster. At Sivo, we put a really high focus on community-led and community-provided uh, resources. So you can check out the community section. You can find different learning resources. And we go ahead and check those out. So there's a different tutorials and guide that show you how to solve, uh, how to get something up and running for specific use cases. So in this case, we have also some really fun guides, but also some really practical guides on how do you get started with XYZ. Uh, these are contributed by Sivo Sivo employees themselves, but also within the community. Now, if we check out the other sections, you can contribute in various different ways, either through creating guides on Sivo, and that could also lead you to then become an ambassador, especially quick shout out if you are from a minority group within a tech space, please do reach out if you're interested in becoming an ambassador, interested in getting involved, interested in creating guides. We want you <laughs> part of our community, we want you to contribute. So let me know how I can help for you to get involved. Um, so Sivo, contributing to Sivo, we have different learn guides. We have an exclusive Slack channel. Once you join Sivo, once you use Sivo, you can join that Slack channel and get involved in discussions. And you can also add your own applications to the app marketplace. Now, what is the app marketplace? I already mentioned it down below here that there is an app marketplace. So let's take a look at how you can spin up a Kubernetes cluster and use the app marketplace. This is the platform, the dashboard, as you come to it right away when there is no cluster launch at the beginning. Now, here's the dashboard. I'm locked in currently into my admin account, so I see some additional tabs here. But basically, you have a suggestions page. Let me just really quickly walk you through it. You can provide different suggestions, what you would like us um, to include in the platform, what you would like to see Sivo do and basically provide within the platform itself. Now, you can spin up different compute instances. There's a cube quest that you can fulfill as well to get swag and to get onboarded to Sivo. And then we have here our Kubernetes clusters. Now, as you might have realized, different to other cloud providers, this is quite a simplified dashboard. It's really straightforward to navigate. And that's one of the aspects that really drew me to using Sivo in the first place, become part of their first beta program and now join the company as well. But also generally what I enjoy about Sivo is that 
simplicity behind everything, not only K3S and um, using everything that's basically tailored down to lightweight, fast, simplified environments, which doesn't mean that you can't uh, run any of your production use cases on SIVO as well. But the thing is that it's really easy to navigate. And especially when you're not familiar, when you haven't done those AWS and Azure and other certificates that show you how to navigate those platforms and how to make the best out of them, you just want to get the cluster up and running based on your needs as fast as possible without having to pay somebody else to do it for you, basically, right? So we can launch our first Kubernetes cluster right here. Now you can select a name. I can just say demo environment meant. And then you can specify the number of compute instances that you want, meaning the number of nodes that you want to have as part of your solution. Now you can see here that I have the extra large and the large blocked because they are not part of my free plan that I get through my SIVO account. Um, Additionally, you can also spin up additional node pools once you have created a cluster. So it's not just because you specify the size here right now, doesn't mean that you can't change it later on. Now, right now we have the default network. You can change it. Like we will provide additional ones later on and provide more flexibility in that regard. And then you can specify the size of your compute nodes. Now, in most cases, the medium one will be completely sufficient for demo environments and just small solutions. Um, as it is here described, but I can also just spin up the small one. It shouldn't make such a difference in this case. And as you can see, we provide really transparent pricing. Yay. We like to know how much things cost per month. Now we are here at the marketplace. As you can see, there are lots of different solutions and at, by default, we will install traffic and metrics right from the start. Now, I don't want that as part of my cluster right at the beginning, so I can deselect them. I can also add on different uh, marketplace apps later on if I feel like it, um, if I want to use any of those. Obviously, I can also install them by myself, but as you might have seen in some of my other videos, that some solutions take quite some several steps to install. So we have these market apps, marketplace apps that you can install right away um, through the UI or through our CLI, which I will look at in a second. And uh, yeah, deploy those applications and use them right away on your Kubernetes cluster without having to go through the documentation and through the different steps of installing those different solutions. Now you can also specify whether you want to have it in London or New York. Now I'm closer to London, so I'm going to go ahead and select London and that caused me to reload everything. So let's provide the information again. We don't want that part of it. What I do want to have part of it, let's maybe put for demonstration purposes, put Prometheus on top of it, on top of my cluster. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and create this cluster. So I'm just going to hit create and it's gonna spin up my Kubernetes cluster. Now you can see here how long it will take approximately to build your cluster. And you can see it's really, really fast. It's usually faster than spinning up a local kind cluster, just like that. And as you can see now, my cluster is up and running, my demo environment. Now I can see here the K3S version that's used. This is an API endpoint that might be useful if you want to connect to external services, such as your uh, GitLab account and your CICD pipelines. Now I have my three nodes running and they are all listed here with the compute resources that I have available. Now I want to connect locally with my kubectl client. I want to connect to this cluster. So I'm going to download the kubeconfig and then we take it from there. I'm doing this video also right now because we still have this perk going on on SIVO that you can get up to $250 worth of credit if you sign up within this month and you add your credit card details. Now that allows you to use compute resources up to $250 worth if you sign up this month. So go check it out. Now I created this really handy guide that shows you how to spin up your Kubernetes cluster on Sivo in three different ways using the UI, using just the Sivo CLI, as well as using Terraform. And these are the three different ways that you can create a Kubernetes cluster. We are working right now on a fourth way <laughs> that I will probably add to this guide later on. Now, when we're jumping into our terminal, 
Now I have Sivo installed. You can install it really easily, especially with, if you have Brew installed. So you can just, it's like one command or something. And then I have my kubectl client installed. Now right now I'm on a client kind crossplane cluster that I'm using for other purposes. And I want to use my demo environment cluster, right? So I have here, but in this directory, I have my downloaded uh, cube config file. Now I can say, well, before you connect to this to this file and to your ultimately to your Kubernetes cluster, you have to have an API token from Sivo connected to your CLI. So I can say Sivo API key list, and it's going to show me the different API keys that I have currently connected, and I'm currently connected to my test cluster um, API key. So this is right now in use. Now. I want to connect to this cluster. Now to do that, I can use the following command, Sivo Kubernetes config demo environment. Demo environment refers to name of my cluster, save merge region London one. Now this will ultimately merge my cube config into my current uh, cube config that's used by kubectl. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And it should then connect to my, or make my uh, cluster accessible. So if I say kubectx, now you can see here that I have here my demo environment added to my other cube configs. Now I want to change now to my demo environment. So I say demo environment. And now I switch to my demo environment. And this is the cluster that I just created. So I can then say kubectl get all to get all the resources, of course, there's nothing there. Cube kind of get notes, and I see all my different three different notes listed here uh, from the cluster that I just created. Now I can go ahead and use this cluster like any other Kubernetes cluster, which makes it so amazing. Now we've installed through the marketplace Prometheus, so I want to check out Prometheus now. So I'm going to clear this and say Cube kind of get uh, namespaces. So as you can see here, I have my monitoring namespace. So let's check out what's within this monitoring namespace. Get all in namespace monitoring. And as you can see here, basically everything from the Prometheus operator spin up that includes Grafana, Prometheus and so on. So I can do a port forward of Prometheus. Where is it? Here. Of the Prometheus cube Prometheus. And um, it's probably the Helm chart. So we're gonna use this. We're gonna do a kubectl port forward. kubectl port forward of this service in namespace monitor monitoring. And we're gonna forward it to 1990. Now this is forwarding it to my local host so I can access Prometheus. And it should automatically scrape um, the resources that Prometheus installed by itself, so we can already see some stuff. And then you can check out different guides if you're interested to learn more about Prometheus and how to enable monitoring and so on, right? So, wow, it has dark mode now. That is new to me. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't used that yet. Anyway, so we want to check our targets. And as you can see, Prometheus is nicely already scraping itself. So as you can see, it worked just to, I didn't have to do anything else. I literally just had to click on the marketplace. Hey, please enable this app. Put this app into my Kubernetes cluster right when you spin it up. So I can save myself like 10 minutes of installing everything, finding the resources regarding Prometheus and Grafana and so on, and just have it right there. Now, I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, please do reach out either on Twitter or on the community chat at community.100daysofhubernetes.io. I also have a weekly newsletter, so make sure to subscribe, link below, where I share free online learning resources from across the space on a weekly basis right to your inbox. <laughs> now, remember that Sivo has, when you first sign up and provide your credit card details, $250 of credit, meaning you can use Kubernetes clusters and resources of Sivo worth $250. So make sure to use it because it's just, I think, for this month. Now, this is it for today. I hope it was useful. I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.